The Strategic Prevention Framework, or SPIF, is built on a community-based risk and protective factors approach to prevention with a series of guiding principles that can be utilized at the federal, state, tribal, and community levels. There are seven phases of the SPIF. Assessment, capacity, planning, implementation, evaluation, cultural competence, and sustainability. Cultural competence and sustainability are at the center of every phase of the SPIF and should be considered in each aspect. The first phase of the SPIF is assessment. The SPIF is a data-driven process that answers the question, what is going on in my community? We want to assess profile and population needs, resources and readiness to address needs and gaps. We want to assess prevention needs based on epidemiological data. And culturally, we want to make sure that we assure that the data is culturally responsive and appropriate. The next phase is capacity. Capacity is the ability to mobilize stakeholders and resources to address the needs of a community. Building prevention capacity is all about taking a look at personnel, knowledge and skills, as well as community and organizational resources and readiness. In essence, capacity equals resources plus readiness. With regards to cultural competency, we want to make sure that we examine community resources and readiness and check cultural representation. The next phase is planning. In this phase, we want to develop a comprehensive plan which includes strategic goals, objectives, logic models, and action plans. When developing logic models and action plans, it is essential to determine who may be missing from the process and to make every effort to ensure that the plan is culturally inclusive. The next phase is implementation. In this phase, we want to implement evidence-based programs, policies, practices, and strategies. And what we want to remember about cultural competency at this phase is that interventions that are effective and appropriate for the community ensure that all stakeholders and community partners are involved and on the same page, and cultural adaptations are made as needed. Evaluation. In the evaluation phase, we want to measure the impact of the intervention and its outcomes. In this phase, we monitor, evaluate, sustain, and improve or replace those things that aren't working. The purpose of evaluation is to look for areas of improvement. With respect to cultural competence, it is important to make sure that the community is involved in all aspects of the evaluation process. Cultural competence. We want to consider cultural, gender, ability levels, and sexual orientation in all aspects of the SPIN. The reason why we do this is to eliminate service and participation disparities for people of diverse racial, ethnic, and linguistic populations. Each step of the SPIF requires and greatly benefits from the participation of diverse community partners. Sustainability. In this phase of the SPIF, we want to identify the outcomes that were achieved and consider what exactly do we want to sustain. Do we want to st sustain the prevention infrastructure, partnerships, collaborations, effective policies, programs, or practices? It's important to remember that the individuals and institutions you involve will change as your initiative evolves over time, but the need for prevention partners will remain constant. Culturally, we want to remember that the levels of partnership that are most culturally relevant to the community we want to remember that valuing diversity and awareness and acceptance of differences throughout the SPIF is really important in the sustainability phase. In conclusion, the SPIF is designed to help practitioners gather and use data to guide all prevention decisions. Communities may also engage in activities related to multiple steps simultaneously as their needs evolve. Earlier prevention models often measured success by looking at an individual's program outcomes or changes among small groups. But effective prevention means implementing multiple strategies that address risk and protective factors associated with the problems or issues in a given community. In this way, we are much more likely to create an environment that helps people support healthy decision-making. And that's the SPIF.